What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video here on the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a grunge banner for your YouTube channel. I was getting a lot of comments on the last Twitter tutorial, and in general, I've just been getting a lot of comments on my channel asking me to do more like YouTube banner templates and less like Twitter templates. So here you guys go. Um, I also didn't want to make this one directly Fortnite related. So if you guys have a channel where you guys just upload kind of like whatever, just like me, you guys don't want like a render in your banner. Um, This one I think looks really, really clean. And as you guys always know i will include the templates and i will include all of the stuff that you guys need for free um in the description so i would appreciate it you guys could also leave a big fat like on this video and also subscribe to the channel i'll be giving you guys a blue and a red and probably one other color of the template and then i have like three or four more colors that i will drop at about 500 likes on this video so i'd really appreciate it if you guys could again hit that like button it really really helps me out and with that being said let's go ahead and just jump into today's tutorial All right, so first things first, make sure you guys go to the link in the top of the description. This is gonna be a Google Drive. And from there, you guys can download the templates. As well as that, I'm gonna show you guys right here everything that you do need to download. I would just recommend grabbing everything, as I say in every video, and just kind of transferring it to your desktop and downloading it straight to a folder, something like that. Let me get the folder here. So if we take a look in the folder, I'm gonna drag it over. So as you guys can see here, I have lots of things. These are final versions, so these aren't gonna be in the Google Drive for you guys, because obviously you're making it for yourself. But we're gonna have a blue, light green, orange, purple, red, and teal. I do have the font as well, and as well as that, you guys do need to download the YouTube banner template grid. All right, so after you've downloaded all of that, just head to pixlr.com. I'll leave a link in the description if you guys just wanna click that. Um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to Pixlr E as usual, and now it looks a little bit different than last time. I feel like they keep updating it. But what we're actually gonna do here is we're just gonna go to open image, and we're gonna open that YouTube banner template grid that I put in the Google Drive. Um, when we double click it, it's actually going to pop up with this. Now, basically, this is saying that, you know, obviously our image is large, it's 2560 by 1440, which is basically the normal size for a YouTube banner because um, it only really shows like part of it on your YouTube profile. Now you guys could do full HD. I don't know necessarily if that's going to like format it weird at all. So I normally just do original and this is what I would recommend doing. It just keeps the same resolution as the image that you're opening. So we're going to click apply. Then as you guys can see here, we have this open. Now the whole process is extremely, extremely easy. All we have to do is go to layer add image as layer and as you guys can see we need to find whatever template that we want to use so i'm going to go for the teal one because this one personally is my favorite and the awesome thing is once you guys click it in you guys can see that it automatically formats it um you guys don't want to move it at all you want to go to the three dots right here you want to click that and you want to click lock very important you guys do not want to move that layer at all now all you have to do is make sure you also go in that google drive like i said before and download the font file um, this is actually what it looks like it says abg and this is stretch pro one of my favorite fonts i've used in previous tutorials we're going to go back here and i'm going to go to the text thing right here this is actually the text tool i'm going to click on it I'm gonna click on here and I'm gonna click add. And I'm gonna again, make sure that text layer right here is dragged above our image right here. Now, as you guys can see, I already have the font in, but I'm actually gonna go to here and I'm gonna click the down arrow. And if you guys don't have the font installed already, you're gonna go to add local font and you're just gonna double click on stretch pro, this font file, and it's gonna automatically add it. As you guys can see, it doesn't for me because I already have it in there. But again, make sure you guys are selected on that font. I'm just gonna double click and I'm gonna type in ice space kicks and I'm also using all caps here just think it looks a little bit cleaner i'm gonna go to the size and i'm gonna up it a bit just to make it look a bit nicer i think that's looking about good right there we definitely don't want to make it too big because we want to keep it in the desktop minimum and mobile sections for sure i think this is looking about good now what we're going to do here just to make it look a little bit nicer is i'm going to click on the three dots and i'm going to click duplicate right down here duplicate layer and i'm going to drag the duplicated layer underneath this top one right here then I'm gonna drag that down and to the left just a tad. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to styles and I'm gonna go to outline and I'm gonna click this punch out button right here. I'm gonna go to color. And I'm actually just gonna use this dropper tool right here to grab this exact teal from the image. And I'm gonna actually make it just a tad brighter here. I'm gonna click okay. And I'm gonna click size. And I'm just gonna drag this down a bit. So it looks good. Now I don't know why this is above. I definitely want this below. I think I moved it earlier. I think that looks pretty good i don't want to move this top one i'm actually going to lock this top one so i don't move it and again i'm just going to make sure this looks good right under here now that's literally it i will leave some extra stuff in the google drive like social media icons if you guys do want to add any of those all you have to do again for those is just go to layer add image as layer and just add all those social media icons and then just size them how you need them and then put your socials in now from here to get this onto your youtube profile all you need to do is go to file 
save and then make sure it's on jpg um name it whatever you guys want uh, i'm just gonna name it youtube banner new and then i'm gonna make sure the quality is dragged all the way up to 100 percent i'm gonna make sure it's high i'm gonna make sure the width and height is again 2560 by 1440 i'm gonna go ahead and hit download and then all i'm gonna do is i'm gonna click show in folder and i'm just going to drag this to my desktop real quick just so it's easy to kind of grab now all we need to do is go on to your youtube channel of choice as you guys can see i am here on my second channel where i upload lots of youtube shorts and just random stuff but all you have to do is click on this little camera icon up here we're going to go right into our youtube channel customization it's going to go to banner image all we have to do is hit change and then you can find the one that you drag to your desktop i'm going to double click that and then i don't have to do anything it automatically formats it um, into the desktop minimum and mobile i'm going to click done and i'm going to click publish then I can show you guys what it looks like on my profile. Um, as well as that, I will leave a link to this channel in the description if you guys want to see what it looks like. Um, it looks pretty good, honestly. I really do like the grunge effect. Uh, it took me a lot of time to actually kind of make it look half good on the backside of it. And then it should upload the full quality if you refresh a couple times. But yeah, if you guys like this video, I would appreciate it if you guys could leave a like and also subscribe to the channel. I have lots of tutorials coming very, very soon. I'm going to be uploading a lot starting this month and next month, pretty much. Yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next video on the channel. Thank you for watching. Peace.